morning. Welcome back to Mornings with the Mitten. I'm Stacy, And I'm Therese. Hey, we're back this week. We've had quite a few questions in the last few weeks, Therese, about this crazy thing called a final walkthrough. What does that look like and what should we do and when should we do it? Yeah, so after we've got through all the courses of getting an offer accepted, getting over your inspection, getting through the appraisal, getting the finance approval, the final step to any transaction is of course sitting down at the closing table. Mm -hmm. But what's most important is that final walkthrough that we always suggest taking place about 24 hours prior to the actual signing. Mm -hmm. This is for our buyers. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's the buyer's last and final opportunity to ensure that the home is in the same condition that the home was when we first looked at it and also when they did the walkthrough for their home inspection. Including the same appliances. Correct. Sometimes <laughs> the sellers switch out the beautiful stainless steel <laughs> to the 1960s yep. avocado green. <laughs> Doesn't happen on a normal occurrence, but that's what a final walkthrough sure. is. I mean, whether you're buying a $50,000 home or a $500,000 right. home, it's probably one of the biggest financial investments of your lifetime and taking that extra half hour or an hour just to do that one final sweep. What are some of the things that you like to check for when you're there with your Sure, buyers? so I like to go 24 hours prior to closing. I, I don't like to go the morning of because in the event there's something we need to either Remedy. figure out yep. or discuss with the other agent, yep. um, we have a little time. So Absolutely. that's first and foremost, at Agreed. least 24 hours. Next thing looking for are the mechanicals of the home. Mm -hmm. Is the air working? Is the furnace working? I know right now it's 90 degrees out, but still flip on that furnace, yeah. making sure it's going, hot water tanks firing up, toilets are flushing, showers are working, sinks are running. Making sure there's no water that is collected in the basement got between those 30 days from the yep. last time you were in the home during the home inspection. Some pumps are working. One more <laughs> important thing is during a home inspection, sometimes buyers uncover issues, whether it is a sump pump That's not right. working or a roof that needs to be fixed or electrical updated. Mm -hmm. And at the time of the home inspection, sometimes the buyers will ask for the seller to repair those items. Which we have a signed addendum that says they will. Correct. <laughs> a walkthrough is the perfect time for that buyer and agent yes. to check, check, double check that those asks were remedied That's properly. Correct. That's correct. Um, one other thing that I like to make sure is also walking the exterior of the home and make sure the garage doors openers yep. work open and close yep. and that everything has cleaned out of the house. We have had one horror story, <laughs> Deidre, who's the regular here on the vlog. I can still remember that phone call from Deidre and luckily she did everything right. She did the walkthrough about 24 hours prior to the signing and they walked into the home <laughs> and the home looked exactly as it looked like as they saw it the first time when the homeowners were living there. Fully furnished. Fully furnished, <laughs> trash all over the place. So what had to happen in those 24 hours is we needed to get a trash out company in there, we had to get a cleaning company in mm -hmm. there, and you better believe we put that charge on the sellers because that purchase agreement states that the property should That's be right. in broom swept condition with all personal items removed from the premises. Yep. And make sure the items that you purchased in the home that were supposed to be attached are truly also Mirrors, remained attached. light fixtures, That's appliances, correct. absolutely. That's correct. So, so walkthroughs are very, very <laughs> important. Don't skimp on them. A lot of times mm -hmm. within those 24 hours of closing, sometimes buyers are packing, sometimes they gotta run to the bank to get their cashier's check yep. or a wire. Don't skimp on that home inspection. It can be, or not home inspection, the walk. It can be a 15 <laughs> right. minute quick in and out, but it's just your peace of mind. And your agent inside. should be with you. Absolutely. Always, Absolutely. your agent is with you. So we also have some exciting new listings this week too, Trace. Yes, we do. We're still on a roll. It is it is the dead of the summer market and man, we are alive and kicking. So Stacy, what do we have this well, week? Well, I actually have two listings this week. It's that first one is 2205 Cranbrook in Canton. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath colonial, granite kitchen, beautiful hardwood floors, master suite with vaulted nice. ceiling, fireplace in the family room, main floor, first laundry, and a two car attached garage. Sounds like a great it's, listing. It's a wonderful listing. And then the second one is at 38071 Carillon Boulevard in Westland. It is $65,000, two bedroom, one and a half bath, two story condo, very cute, really nice neighborhood, freshly painted, 
uh, nice hardwood flooring that was also there. Appliances will stay, and there's a community pool to cool off in. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, staying in Westland, we have a great listing at 33772 Warren Road. This is a four bedroom, one and a half bath colonial, big colonial, 1900 square feet. There's a great addition which homes the family room with a gas fireplace. Uh, there's a fenced backyard. That one is listing at 165000 We also have a fabulous ranch in Northville located oh. at 42284 <laughs> Ladywood. It is a very desirable little neighborhood, tree-lined, walking distance to the schools. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath, brick ranch, updated kitchen. There's a fabulous Four Seasons room off the bat. Lots of updates like new windows, new roof. There is a two car attached garage on that one and it is on a finished basement. 325,000 is our list price on that. So lots of great listings. Open houses are on Saturday, 12 to two. Come yeah. visit us and see us out there. And if you have any other real estate questions, needs, or simply wanna buy or sell your home, <laughs> give us a call or reach out to us on Facebook or even on the website. So have a wonderful week, be Absolutely. safe, and see you guys next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye.